Hey guys, welcome back to me being cheap. I have got dishes that are piling up. I want to show you something. This has probably been through the dishwasher twice and it's just covered in scale. It's not getting clean. Same with this one. It's just, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But several of these, like this jar, has been run through a couple times and it's still dirty and like this bowl has still got stuff in it and that didn't have to happen and we don't put dishes in with tons of food we scrape them give them a light rinse and then run them through but let me show you like i don't know if this is even picking up but this glass is just it's really gross looking and I checked to make sure that the water softener was still working and that it had salt and it seemed like it was and I don't know I've got a little spotlight here trying to show there is a little bit of lime scale in this dishwasher this dishwasher is probably less than two years old but I am going to try some CLR um, the other thing that I noticed is I usually use the Great Value Automatic Dishwasher Powder, uh, but I had found this stuff, and it was on clearance at Walmart. I don't know what the price was, um, but it didn't seem like it was doing as good of job. So I went back to this, got a little bit better results, but the, the dishes are still not near as clean as they used to be. So I don't know if this is a problem with, I use this, soap and the dishes just aren't clean from this now or if it's a problem with the jets or what have you being built up with hard water but we're going to try the CLR and again yes the dishes are piling up if I can't get this going right I may just have to uh, hand scrub the dishes and then use the dishwasher as a drying rack uh, the CLR I've got it pre-measured out already uh, the instructions on the back um, talk about for washing machines and dishwashers to use half a cup which is four ounces so um, lucky for me I already had this on hand I didn't have to go make a special trip so we're just going to pour this in the bottom of the machine and then we're going to give it a start and guys, I will check back in with you later. Um, it's just to run it through uh, a whole cycle and then run it through another cycle. So I will run it through twice. I uh, will check back in, in with you. Thanks for watching. All right, welcome back to me being cheap. So we did the CLR in the dishwasher and then we did a rinse cycle as instructed. And again, I know the lighting in here is not real good. We still have some hard water residue. However, I pull out the racks. Um, this item over here was crusted. It still has some white residue on it, but it's it's much, much less. <clears throat> so it did help. Also, there was some rust on here. Let's get this up where you can see it. And See, it's loosened. I could take it off with my finger. So I'm going to run some white vinegar through here, see if I can finish it off. And then I think I'm gonna call it good. And then I'll resume using just the regular um, powder dishwasher detergent. Okay, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I have to show you something and I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but when I started pouring vinegar in here and I was pouring it along this hinge right through here, all this nasty stuff, I don't know if you can see it, old pieces of, I don't know if that's food or hard water, but there is a lot of yuck in that hinge. I'm gonna see if I can find a brush or something. That may be the source of my problem, we'll see. All right, welcome back. So we have done the vinegar wash and rinse. And as far as the door is concerned, I don't know 
if that's showing up. There's still a rusty ring. That's probably from a canning lid that fell on there. Door's looking pretty good. All of that stuff that came loose, it's gone. It's not sitting in the bottom, so that's good. Really think that running that CLR and then the vinegar, I really think that's made a difference. And I've already started putting stuff in here. But yeah, I'm gonna load this dishwasher up and use the regular powder detergent and we'll give it a go and I will report back. Thanks for watching. All right, welcome back. So let's see how the dishwasher did. Looks like something's still stuck on there. Hmm. That one looks like it's clean. The bowl is clean. It's old, but it's clean. Let's see if the coffee stain came out. Yep, coffee stain's out. This glass still looks bad. It's clean. There's not stuff stuck in it, but it's really cloudy. I imagine I'm gonna have to hand scrub that off, but it's actually clean. This jar is not clean, I can see that right now. There's still some sediment in there. Put that back in the sink. Let's see how the other jars are. That one is clean. This one still has a ring around it of hard water. There's no food stuck on it. This glass is clean. Check this bowl. Oh, there's still some stuff stuck in it. All right. That's still questionable looking. guessing some of this stuff I may have to wash by hand before it will come clean. This one's clean. Real quick, that's clean. Let's take a look at this pan. It was really looking pretty sad. So some of that lime scale came off the outside. Some of it's still there. And there's still quite a bit in here. So I imagine, yes, yeah, some of this old lime scale, I'm just going to have to wash it off by hand. But the new dishes that I've put in here, they're clean. This bowl's clean. This platter's clean. So, yeah, I definitely think we've made progress. All right, thanks for watching. Um, I'm happy with the results. Again, that was uh, half a cup of CLR in a wash so cycle, followed by a plain rinse cycle, and then I did some vinegar and knock loose some of the uh, the calcium lime scale on the inside. So, progress was made. Okay, that was a cheap fix. Thanks for watching.